This is the only level, it's an old Flash game, comprised of a single level and 30 stages inside that level. So, basically 30 levels. Each one of the levels takes place in the same playing area, however, they all have their own little twist on the puzzle. This is my journey of trying to become one of the fastest in the world at this game. Oh, also one more thing. The timing for this game is actually using this in-game timer. It's a very simple game. You press the left key to, you guessed it, go left. The right key, again, you guessed it, to go right. And the up key to jump. That's it. That's all the controls. Certain levels are a little bit different, but in general, this is the golden rule. Every speedrunning journey starts with an initial run. No reset from the start to the end using all the baby strats possible. So that's what I did here. And my time, let's just say, wasn't going to cut it. However, this was just the beginning. And from here, the easiest way to improve was just to spam runs. Uh, so that's what I did. Eventually, I kind of figured out that certain levels were going to be the problem levels. The first problem level is Candy Stripes of Doom. While it's really just doing the same level you always do, if you hit the wrong color flooring, you instantly die and go back to the start of the level. The second problem level is Headwind. And this simply moving to the right uh, doesn't move you as fast. This requires different pathing, as well as a huge time loss if you fail this initial jump. Collapse is the third problem level which results in you needing to go above the pipe and then fall down. You can easily fall into spikes, and if you autopilot and go the normal route, you end up wasting a lot of time. The last problem level is gravity, where depending on which column you're in, gravity either goes up or down. And once you've learned the strats, this level isn't too hard, but being able to consistently do the strats is a necessity in order to not have your runs killed. The second most important thing is correctly remembering the order of all the levels. Your initial inputs are actually extremely important. Typically, we have to hold right just a second after we load into the level, otherwise we'll fall off the side and not be able to make this jump correctly. This sort of timing is key, and knowing exactly what level you're entering, so you know exactly what inputs to put in, is absolutely critical in order to put a run together. Eventually, I got to be pretty good pretty consistently, and then the goals of the run changes. You see on stage 25, there is a 10 second cycle on exiting the level. This door only opens every 10 seconds. That means that it doesn't matter if I get here at 2 minutes 30 seconds or 2 minutes 39 seconds. My end time will be more or less the same. Those 9 seconds do not count. So now I had all the strategies I needed. I knew all the techniques. At this point, even really small techniques really mattered. Eventually, we did it. We had our run. This ended up being our PB. It was about six hours in, and despite trying more, um, we never actually managed to beat this time. Um, I'll playing it for you here now. This is the run, the run of legends. And yeah, everything went well. We hit everything we're supposed to hit. Uh, some, some movements not quite the best, but hey, what more can you ask for? The difficulties of this run, not only the just mechanical accuracy to perform each level as fast as possible, well, as fast for me as possible, along with just the mental toughness of memorizing each level six hours into a session, made this an extremely enjoyable and rewarding experience. And that's a wrap. That is my day's work of speedrunning. This is the only level. We managed to get 19th at the time of recording. At this point, we're like 20th or 22nd. But hey, it's all in a day's work. Oh, that might be it. Two forty six thirty. Nineteenth, BB. <laughs> That's two spots on the leaderboard. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Broke top 20.